Hey y'all, we are in prime strawberry season and I could not skip over strawberry season without giving y'all one of my absolute favorite strawberry recipes, strawberry shortcake sheet cake. Let that sink in. It is my twist on the classic strawberry shortcake and it is in this month's Southern Living right here on page 108. It is so delicious and I cannot wait to share this recipe with y'all. First thing that we have to do, we have two pounds of strawberries. You need to whole and half one whole pound of them. We just don't need this hunk. And then cut it in half lengthwise so that you still maintain this strawberry shape. That's what we're looking for. That's what's gonna be used for the topping. And then now I am chopping one cup of strawberries to put inside of the batter. I'm going ahead with this butter. It is a quarter cup of cold unsalted butter that I'm going to cut into cubes. Classically, strawberry shortcake is kind of like a biscuit or a scone almost with whipped cream and strawberries and that's like it that's a shortcake it does have leavening in it but it is like just super short and like kind of crumbly that's where a shortcake gets its name that's what i have done so i've made basically a really large scone biscuit situation in sheet cake form so i've just like i'm making a biscuit batter which is why you have to cut up cold butter and incorporate it that way just like you would whenever you make biscuits. It's cold butter that you cut into flour. I am putting the butter into the fridge while I finish measuring my flour and sugar because the butter really does need to stay cold. The next ingredient that we need is self-rising flour. You need to use a southern soft winter wheat flour like White Lily or Martha White for this application. If you live somewhere you can't get White Lily, order it on Amazon or something because flour that is made from soft winter wheat has a lower gluten content. That's what makes our biscuits so light and airy and fluffy in the South because the lower gluten content means that they're not gonna be as dense. It makes for really super, super tender biscuits. And so that's what I'm using for my shortcake. I need two and a quarter cups of this self-rising flour. Same thing again, I need a cup of all-purpose flour. The one annoying part about this recipe is that it does use two types of flour, and I'm sorry about that. If you can only find all-purpose flour, that is okay. You can make your own self-rising flour by adding baking powder and salt. Now that I have all of my ingredients measured, I'm going to mix them all together in a big bowl. So I have my self-rising flour, all-purpose flour, some salt, one teaspoon of vanilla, and my granulated sugar, which is half a cup. Whisk that together really well. And now I can cut my butter into my flour mixture. You can use a pastry cutter. If you don't have a pastry cutter, you can Use a fork, you can use your fingers, whatever you have on hand to get this butter incorporated into your flour mixture. Once you have cut your butter into your flour and it's kind of evenly distributed and in about pea size shapes, you're ready to move on. Now I'm going to fold it in two teaspoons of lemon zest, which is about the amount that I'm going to get from one lemon, one cup of whole buttermilk, and then I also added in two thirds cup of heavy cream because we just apparently can't get enough. Once your flour has gotten just wet, like that's all you're looking for, you don't wanna overwork this, you're going to add in your cup of chopped strawberries. I have a baking sheet. The recipe says that you can spray it. Honestly, I'm a fan of parchment paper. I know I wrote this recipe. You know, maybe I was having a brain fart that day. So here's what we're gonna do. You can use an ice cream scoop, which is highly recommended. The one that has the like foot thing that like scoops it out and pushes it out for you. I would really highly recommend that if you have that on hand. I'm using a quarter cup dry measuring cup that I'm going to coat in flour and scoop and plop onto my parchment paper lined baking sheet. To prevent the batter from sticking to my measuring cup, I've got a bowl of flour that I'm just gonna kinda scoop in there and then scoop about a quarter cup of this batter. And there we have it. Basically what I have done is created some biscuits, like I said, and just 
mushed them all together on a tray. Slice like a sheet cake, but it's gonna taste like a scone and it's gonna be so, so delicious. I have to brush it with melted butter and then I'm supposed to dust it with two tablespoons of sanding sugar. I don't have that, so I'm just using straight up granulated sugar, which is gonna work just fine. Into my preheated oven at 400 degrees for about 28 to 32 minutes, and there we have it. Okay, my timer just went off. It's looking good, look at that. One big biscuit, strawberry, scone, shortcake, sheet cake situation. Yum. It has to cool completely, so I'm going to set it over here on a wire rack. It's gonna go for about an hour to cool all the way. It's cooled for about 10 minutes on my tray right here. And so what I'm gonna do is take it off of the pan that it baked on and put it on the wire rack so it can cool a little bit faster or have more airflow from the bottom. My cake is almost cool, which means I'm going to get started on the rest of the toppings, which are some macerated strawberries. Basically, that just means strawberries that have been sitting in sugar for a little while. I put a quarter cup of sugar in with these pulled and halved strawberries that we did at the very beginning. And I'm stirring it up so all the strawberries are coated. And I'm going to let it sit like this for about 10 to 15 minutes. Whipped cream concoction is going to start out with mascarpone cheese. It says delicious creamy spreadable cheese for bagels, toast, and tiramisu. So it's basically like thick whipped cream that is in the form, the texture of cream cheese. It is delectably delightful. So we're going to add it to a bowl like so, all eight ounces. This stuff is kind of finicky. So if I were to just add this straight to the whipped cream, it would kind of break and separate and that's not good. So I'm going to gently stir in a quarter cup of powdered sugar and two teaspoons of vanilla and use a spatula to incorporate all of this together gently and that's pretty much all you need to do with that we are going to add this into our whipped cream so in a large bowl this is one cup of cold heavy cream that i am going to beat until stiff peaks form on about medium high speed and then i will fold in this mascarpone powdered sugar vanilla mixture into my stiff peak whipped cream. This is what it should look like. It's like kind of thin whipped cream because it has the mascarpone in there, but it still kind of holds its shape like this. And that's it. But a note for you watching at home. If you don't think you're gonna be able to eat the whole strawberry shortcake sheet cake in one sitting, do not, do not, I repeat, slather the whole thing in the whipped cream mixture and the strawberries because it will just get soggy, it'll sit there, it's not gonna be good. So only slather the amount of cake that you're going to be able to eat with the amount of topping. So if you need to go ahead and cut your individual servings and top it that way, that is totally fine. This stuff will hold, it will save, you can use it again tomorrow when you eat the rest of it. I've got my platter out. I'm going to slippity slide the strawberry shortcake sheet cake right on onto the platter. That is beautiful. Look at that. Now I'm going to spread my mascarpone whipped cream all over it, slather it, lather it up, and then the strawberries will be ready and I can top it on there. Yum. That's all I have to say. I mean, look at this. It is beautiful. Full strawberry shortcake sheet cake. My mouth is watering just thinking about it and talking about it. The top is so crunchy and then you bite into the most soft, tender, sweet, tangy biscuit with strawberries inside. Y'all, it's really so, so good. So without further ado, here we go. It is like everything that you want in strawberry shortcake. It's sweet, it's creamy, it's got that biscuit, light, tender. It's got that crunch. Oh, 
fluffy. I, like I can't, I can't think of more adjectives because I'm just having a party in my mouth with this strawberry situation. If you made this recipe, I would love to know. Take a picture and tag me on Instagram at Ivyoda. I love seeing when y'all recreate recipes that I make on Hey Y'all. Of course, if you like this video, all the social media things, like, comment, subscribe, share. If you're watching on YouTube, click the bell. I will see y'all next week on Hey Y'all. Happy strawberry season. Happy baking. I am going to keep digging into this. See y'all later. Thank you.